it's very well. It's early here, but uh, I'm feeling good. You're feeling good. That's what I like to hear. Yes. Yeah. So you're, <laughs> it's early for you. It's five o'clock uh, Swedish time, which is where I am at the moment. And can you tell everyone, can you tell our, our listeners where, where you are at the moment? Yeah, I'm in Canada, Vancouver at the moment because I'm here to study. So oh. it's eight o'clock here. Amazing. Eight in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's there's quite a time difference, isn't there? Um, wow, that's impressive. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, and I'm sure that everyone is going to be very excited to to hear more about you and, and what you've been up to. Um, before we get into it and before we talk about Canada and, um, and what you're doing, your training over there, um, I just want to mention to everyone how we know each other. Yeah, so, sure. Um, well, we were working on a uh, on a theatre project, which is in development at the moment. Um, I was directing it, and you were acting in it, and you did an absolutely brilliant job. Um, one of the easiest, like one of the easiest um, actresses to work with. You're just like super professional on time. You had a great positive attitude and energy, and I'm really excited that you know we can collaborate uh, again and and work together on 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 this podcast. Um, so. Yeah, so you are in Vancouver, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, well, thank you very much for that, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, you're welcome. You're welcome. No no problem at all. I mean it. I mean every word. <laughs> um, it's not every day that you can uh, you can rely on people in that way. So uh, I, it was much appreciated. Um, yeah, but it was funny also because I got very inspired by your writing as well because I thought it was really good and it gave me a lot of ideas for things I done like after that okay well that's that's very nice to hear i appreciate it thank you um yeah so you're you are well you're you're doing so many different things at the moment i mean you're you're an actress you're a, a writer you have a book that's been uh, published recently which we will talk more about um in a little bit um but firstly i suppose we should we should we should jump into this Van- Vancouver journey that you're on. And uh, yeah. can you tell us what's, what, what, what you're doing there and how long you're there for and what inspired this, this, uh, this journey to jump from your, cause I, I should mention that Sophia is actually from, uh, you're from Gothenburg. Is that right? In yeah. Sweden? Yeah. So you're from Gothenburg. Uh, you've lived, you've worked in, in London as well. You've yeah. worked in Gothenburg and now you've jumped halfway across the world to, to be in Vancouver to to do some training. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, but I find it kind of funny because I always move to rainy places for some reason. Uh, Gothenburg is very rainy, as you know. Uh-huh. And then, I'm familiar with it, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then London as well, very rainy. And here it's famous for the rain as well. Interesting, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why I do that, but next time I will go somewhere sunny, I think. <laughs> You, you, you're drawn to rain, Sophia. Is that, yeah, is that what you're for telling? some reason, yeah. Oh, dear, but I guess. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very cool to be here, though. I'm here to study for a year. I'm going to a acting for film and television program. Okay. And yeah, I was always curious, curious about Canada. So I just felt like it was the right next move for me. Nice. And had have you looked had you looked much into the drama school before uh, going out there, or you, you? I mean, it has a really good reputation, and I mean, I've heard plenty about it as well. And uh, if if I could, if the opportunity arose, that would be that would be would have been something I would really love to do. I mean, I I have uh, children and all sorts of commitments my end at the moment, so I, it's it's quite tricky for me to do that. But it's um it, it just sounds amazing. But yeah, had you had you actually researched? into that is it somewhere that you've wanted to go to for for a while or or did yeah, you just sort of for a couple of years now because i went to a workshop in gothenburg they came over there and they did a two-day workshop with us and we had to film stuff and get to know the teacher and i just fell in love with it right away so since then i had the idea in my mind and now i was like i have to do it because uh-huh. You have to like take the moment and just go for what you want. I love that attitude. That's um, inspiring for for many other people out there. I'm sure, particularly at the moment in the, in a in a time where you know we're all facing a lot of ch- challenges, and um, it's 
it's impressive that you've you've taken this this year and just gone you know why not just go for it and see yeah. where it takes you I mean is it some is Canada do you see yourself potentially you know uh, staying there afterwards for for some time or or is it just going to be for the course and then come back or are you sort of hoping that maybe you know you could you could go out there again at some point or have, have you even thought about that yet I don't know yeah it's in my mind but I don't know yet but I've been here for almost two weeks now but I've been in quarantine so I haven't really seen much but my experience or like the vibe I got from the city so far I really love it so yeah. I could see myself staying here. So for those that are watching this on uh, on the the video format that, uh, that that we'll have on on the uh, YouTube channel, you can probably see a very impressive skyline behind you, um, uh, which it just and you're in downtown, is it downtown Vancouver? Yeah, so that's why oh. it's potentially like noisy and loud. <laughs> might, might might hear some some honking of of horns and. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> No worries, that's cool. Um, it's a brilliant backdrop. It's much more exciting than mine, which is a, a wall. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do have a couple of picture frames up there, to be fair. But um, OK, so good. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, I mean, you're, you're a performer, you're a writer, you've directed, you've produced, you have a book that's published. I mean, it is, seems like you have many skills in, in many areas. and. Um, which is something that everyone dreams for, I think. Uh, what, out of all those art forms, do you prefer? Do you have a preference at all? Do you prefer acting to writing, directing? Do you prefer writing to the others, directing, producing? What's your, what do you enjoy the most, or do you like them all the same? Oh wow, that's hard. Cause I feel like they are like, they go together, and I like variety. So I think, at sometimes I like acting is oh it's my favorite. But then at some points in my life, I feel like writing is the best and producing. So, it, yeah, from time to time, it's different. Mm -hmm. But I like them all very much. OK. And have you have you been doing them all for a similar amount of time or is, has acting taken up most of your time or is writing something that came came around recently or have you always been writing? No, I think writing is more recent, actually. And acting has been with me since I was a kid. So, but it's nice to kind of like take on new adventure and try new stuff. And yeah. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, no, I mean that's it's uh, writing is something that I've always been interested in doing as well. Um, I, as you know, I've done written a few little little bits for for theatre and stuff, but. Um, it's definitely an area that I would like to explore more in. And uh, it's nice to see that there are other people out there that are just going out there and publishing books and things like that. It's very cool. Um, so uh, if you couldn't be a performer or an artist or in the creative world, where would you see yourself? What would you see yourself doing? Oh, uh, if wow. you couldn't do writing and acting and all that, all this lovely creative stuff that we enjoy so much, what, what, yeah. where would you see yourself? Where, what, what other skills do you possess that, that, that you know, could lead you to it into another job? <laughs> I want to say nothing, but um, <laughs> no, no, surely not. <laughs> I think that it's hard when you are a creative person. It's like your mind is so much in that world, uh -huh. and it's so hard to think outside that because it's not for me. It's not like I chose to get into the creative world yeah. if I feel like it chose me oh okay uh, yeah. but yeah if I had to I if think you had you... To, if, 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 if Warren just said you can't do any of those things not possible it's off the table um, you have to pick one other job what would it be I think I would be a therapist or something like that because I'm okay. very interested in the human mind and like stories and like listening to people so yeah. yeah okay very nice and you know that obviously drama is used a lot in in forms of therapy as well so yeah there might, be, there might be something there for the future who knows um a drama therapist in the making possibly I oh, don't know. you don't know you never know <laughs> <laughs> um cool so what are you hoping to learn from your your trip in in Canada? What what sort of skills are you going to be focusing on? Is it is it more acting? Is it directing? Is it uh, what is the, the the makeup of the course? Do you know? 
at this point? Well, it's mostly like focused on film and TV. Okay. So we will be doing a lot of like that kind of stuff. Like we will do sitcoms and green screen work, and it's like so. My focus is very much like film acting. Yeah. And before I've been more interested in theater, so this is kind of a shift for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, but I want to do like I want to do everything. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love it. Um, all right, so let's talk about let's talk about 2020 very briefly. Um, as I briefly mentioned earlier, it's been uh, it's been a tricky year for for a lot of people. Um, but I've also noticed and observed certain individuals that have taken this opportunity. You know, some have been in lockdown, some have not been able to do their normal jobs. You know, various things have closed down. It, you know, it's been a tough time, particularly in the art world. Um, what what I've noticed also is that there are people that have embarked on new journeys, new pathways, like yourself going over to Vancouver. You've got people that have um, been into various forms of training, uh, online seminars. You know, they've decided to build on the skills they have and and really almost embrace this this time and and use it to their advantage. How how has twenty twenty been for for yourself? Yeah, I I would say I'm one of those people that kind of. Uh, embraced it because uh, yeah. I've been doing a lot of new stuff like publishing my book and I was supposed to go earlier to Canada but it was cancelled two times before uh -huh. so I had to kind of like while I was waiting do something else so I started to like pick up other projects and do other things and learn new things and I think like you can't control what's happening so you have to just um, accept it and make the best out, out of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I am a big admirer of your uh, your mindset, Sophia. You have a very uh, positive and go get it attitude, which is uh, which is brilliant. Um, all right. So let's 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 briefly move on then, and uh, and, and let's have a look at your. Um, so for our listeners out there, there's going to be uh, two extracts that I'm going to play. Um, which are which have been written by yourself, Sophia. Is it Hol Holmberg? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah. Yes. That's the English way of pronouncing it, anyway. I think so. You would know better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the the sort of international way of saying it. So uh, yeah, we're going to look at two two short extracts. You 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 wrote both of them. Can you introduce? Can you set up uh, the two different extracts? What they are, what they're about, what they what inspired them? Um, yeah. Yes, uh, the first one is about my grandpa huh? uh, that sadly passed away this year, actually. Sorry to hear uh, that. Thank you. Uh, so I wrote that about him this year because, yeah, I wanted to sum up because I, I don't know how much I can say now because I'm going to spoil it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Because uh, when I talked about my grandpa, I always used to say that he was a pirate to huh? my friends. So I thought that I have to write something about that because he's a he was a very special person. He very cool grandpa. Okay, and why why was he? Uh, why did you see him as a pirate? Because he's been out at sea. He, he's been working on ships and okay. he had tattoos and he was so it's very much like uh, the writing. He was like, yeah, he he looked and acted like a pirate. Oh, I love it. I love it. Did he have a hat as well? A pirate's hat? No, I should have bought him one. But... <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that's lovely. Um, and you said he worked on ships. Where Whereabouts did he go to? Was he all around the world or in yeah, specific areas? Yeah, everywhere. Um, so I just recently looked at old photographs and I could see pictures from all over the world. And a lot of places like at that time you couldn't gone to because it was too dangerous and uh, like no tourist areas for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, like everywhere. Amazing. Um, okay, so that's that's the, the first piece that we're going to play. Um, and I'm looking forward to hearing that. And uh, I'm sure, sure our audience will enjoy it too. Um, and it's performed by yourself as well? 
Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Nice. Uh, do you have a plan for these particular scripts? Is it part of something bigger, or is it is it just um, is it just as it is, like a standalone uh, extract of text? Yeah, uh, the one about my grandpa is in the book. My uh, uh, yes, we're going to come on to that very soon. Yeah, but it's my book is in Swedish, so I translated this to English. Ah. Very nice, very considerate of you. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and let's look at the other one then as well, the other extract. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, I wrote that when I lived in London, actually. OK. And it was now, yeah, it was some time ago. So that is not a new piece. And I was working on a, I w wanted to do like a one woman play. OK. But it never turned into that. So I have like the writing from it, but it never became something. But so I still hold on. So hold on. You have you have the whole makings of a one woman play, just waiting to be shown to the world. Is that what you're saying? Maybe someday. That's okay. something I really want to do at some point because it would be cool. I think. But yeah, I don't know and yet. What, what is it about? It was a lot of uh, like personal struggles and. Okay like going from a place where you gone through like a lot of dark stuff and getting through that and getting to a point where you realize um, like why you gone through that and you come out on the other side. Okay. Wow. It sounds deep and uh, it also sounds, um, it sounds very moving as well. Um, I, well, I'm I'm excited and I'm very excited to hear that piece also. Um, so the the one woman play potentially is something for the future. Um, we're going to play those uh, at the end of the episode, so uh, we'll we'll come back to that very shortly. Let's. I want to do a little game with you uh, before we oh, wow. before we wrap, wrap up. Um, and Sophia does not know about this. It's a little uh, would you rather game. Um, bit of fun uh, right at the end. Uh, but before we do that, um, where where is the best place for people to reach out to you, to contact you if they like the work that you've done, if they enjoy your writing, if they just love you as a person and they want to say hi, um, what's up, you know, uh, all of those good things. Um, yeah, where, where's the best place for people to find you? Well, I'm always up for people coming and staying hi, so feel free to do that. And you can find me on Instagram. That's okay. probably where I'm the most. But okay. I'm all, I also have a website that you can check out. Okay. Can you tell us what they are? Uh, my Instagram is pladermf. Okay. And my, yeah, you I, could just, probably just link gonna, it. I'm just going to say I will pop a link in, in the, the bio. Yeah, that's probably the easiest. For anyone yeah. that, uh, that doesn't understand. Uh, that, that sounded very Swedish to me. Um, you can you can link it. I think that's. I'll, I'll put the links down. That's probably. And easy. you can always Google me, uh, Sophia Holmberg. Well, there we go. The beauty of Google. Um, nice and easy. That's great. Uh, yeah, as I as I said, as Sophia said, there will be a link to all of her contacts and her website. Um, before the game, we should really talk about the book, which is. Uh, can you can you give us the title for the book? That's part. When when was it published as well? Uh, in uh, October, so October. very recently. Oh, yeah. wow. This is beautiful. Um, I love it. And yeah, so that, that, that came out in October. Is that something you've always thought about doing or did that just come about recently? Or Yeah, that was really not my plan at all. So I just had a lot of text that I've been saving up for like a couple of years. And I've been looking like when I've gone to the library and looked for like Swedish monologues, Oh. I could couldn't find anything. It's just old stuff. It's like Strindberg and stuff like that. And I felt like that was something that was lacking. And yeah, so yeah. Okay. So okay. it's not like much temporary stuff out there when you go to the library in Sweden uh -huh. or to the bookstore, I think. So yeah, and this year, like I had to try new stuff and I'm like why not why not yeah. do it and how was that process like getting a book published in in Sweden I presume how was that a difficult process or uh, an easy one or 
I mean, if you've not done it before, I can imagine it must be, I wouldn't know where to start, to be honest, to publish a book. Um, yeah, to tell us about tell us about your journey with that and uh, if there were any challenges or whether it was very straightforward. Yeah, I would say yes and no, that it's been a difficult process because I always go in with the mindset is like, I'm going to do this, this is going to be so easy, I'll, it's going to take a week and then I'm done. Oh. But and it wasn't that easy, but because um, there's always when you do stuff, you find out that it's so much more to think about than you had in mind first. And yeah. but it's it's not as difficult either because there's so much tools out there now nowadays. Like there's a lot of on-demand uh, publishing like tools out there. And so it's not that difficult as people would think, I think. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Maybe I can uh, try and publish something one day. I have no idea what I would publish at this stage, but uh, maybe something for the future. Um, okay, awesome. So uh, I will also put a link to, uh, what was the title? Can you tell us, remind us of the title? Yeah, it's a Swedish title, Sien and Nadine. Sien and Nadine, okay, yes. very nice. And it means in English? Take the stage. Take the stage. Wow. I love it. Um, all right, so let's get to it. A bit of fun before we finish. Um, I've got five questions and I want you to answer them. Uh, don't give it too much thought. The first thing that pops into your head and uh, let's go for it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Uh, would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great, great grandchildren? Oh, wow. I think I would go meet my ancestors. Ah, oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. Number two, uh, would you rather have more time or more money? More time, for more sure. More time. Uh -huh. I'm learning so much about you, Sophia. Uh, would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Pause button. Ooh. Would you rather be able to talk with the animals or speak all foreign languages? Speak to animals. Speak to animals. Uh, we have a, yeah, a I already do that. in the house. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather, and this is the last one now, uh, would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Uh, live twice as long, I think. Ah, yep. I, that's... Uh, there's, uh, there's some very nice answers there. I appreciate those a lot. All right, Sophia, I'm going to let you go because I know when you when do you start your course before we leave? When does that all kick off? In a couple of days. Oh. So very soon. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I want to thank you very much uh, for joining us and taking the time and uh, apologies for the early starts. It's difficult with this time difference, um, but you, I think you are. Uh, you did a brilliant job and uh, it was lovely talking to you. So uh, thank stay you. in touch. And thank you so much for having me. It was really fun to be a part of this. You're very welcome. Um, I will put all of your, your details down in the bio. If you want to reach out to Sophia. Oh, one more thing before we go. Is there anything that you would like to say to our audience? Anything that you would like to leave with them? a uh, lasting message, uh, anything that you haven't said already that you would like to say to our audience. Uh, it could be about um, uh, things you have coming up in the future, um, about life in general. It's a very broad one. Um, is there anything that you would like to say? Oh, wow. That's, that's it's a uh, big one. Big that's one, a right? big one. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's just that if you want to do something, then just go go for it and just don't wait for the moment to arise. Just seize the moment. And I think you are a perfect example of, of that mindset and attitude. Um, it's been a delight, Sophia. And thank you so much. Good. Bye. I have to tell you a secret. And you have to promise you don't tell anyone. Promise? We always used to spend every summer at my grandpa's house. And it was me, my mom, my dad, and my seven older brothers. And grandpa used to smoke pipe 
and he had tattoos on his arms. And he always used to tell stories about those long journeys on those big ships out at sea, where all sorts of adventure have taken place. And Grandpa kinda had that devilish look in his eyes. I'm not gonna lie, he used to tell pretty crazy jokes at times that me and my brothers didn't understand at all, but he was always very friendly. And he used to take us fishing on his boat. And I even got to pull out the fish. But the truth is though, I think that my grandpa is a pirate. I've always had hairy things holding me down. And I didn't understand it. Because I was so angry with the world. I started to blame everything around me. Because I felt like life was attacking me and working against me. So I got forced into being this strong fighter and warrior. But deep down, I wasn't. I was just fragile. And I was carrying around this weight on my shoulders, but I didn't even know why I kept carrying it. And after a while, I didn't even know who I was without it anymore. Because maybe that was all I was. And why do we have to make things more complicated than it is? Why can't just the easy way also be the right way? If, and if I feel excited about something, why can't I just do it? And if I feel happy about someone, why can't I just express it? And if something drains me, why can't I just let it go? The past used to haunt me and the future used to scare me, but it's not here. In this moment, everything is just fine. And I may not be able to control the future, but I can control how I see it, and what I do with it. And when I think about it that way, it's not scary at all. It's just exciting. <laughs>